welcome <laughs> to day 12. Day 12 is a stretch. It's not like day 11. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know I was editing it, yeah. So day 12 is quite a driving day with not a lot of miles, but a lot of, a lot of time, if that makes sense. We're going to Ardnamur. Ardna Merchant. Ardna, Ardna Merchant Lighthouse. Right, on the Ardna Merchant Peninsula. Pemin Peninsula, it's easy for you to say. Um, it's the furthest West. westerly point in the UK. So even though we're in Scotland, and many people would think that it would be in Cornwall, it's actually in Scotland. So on our quest... On, on, dry, on, on the mainland, on obviously. The mainland, we're, yeah. we're only doing mainland. I think I've explained that on everyone. So we're on our quest to do all the extreme points of the UK mainland this year and this will be the next one the only one that we can't do we've done lower staffed and we've done done it head so that's east and north this is west we chucked in northeast just because we were there you can't do northwest because it's on MOD land mm -hmm. correct yes so if anybody says later on in this why don't you do northwest you can't okay but it's really just about the four extreme points, the north, south, east and west. Mm -hmm. And we will do the westerly point, sorry, the southerly point later on this year. Anyway, we're off to see the commando <laughs> monument first. What's, what's funny? I, was gonna, I thought you were going to start <laughs> see the wizard the way you were going after, after yesterday's wizard of Oz. What's it? I'll have to cut that out now. <laughs> You don't it, have to. it makes no sense. <laughs> anyway, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wisdom. <laughs> there you go. We're off to see the commando monument now, which is about a mile or so from where we are, so it's rude not to. And then we're off to the lighthouse. Yeah. We'll catch you later. Goodbye. Bye. There's the commando memorial. And I believe Ben Nevis is somewhere up there in the clouds. Let's go and have a look. Thank you. 
past the Neptune steps and Renfin and Viaduct. set off from Roy Bridge, the sat nav said 80 miles and two and a half hours. And you have to think to yourself, how come? Until you realise when you get on the B8007, it's 25 miles of this, and we've already met an Arctic down here, <laughs> which has very, very bum twitchy. <laughs> Couldn't have been at a worse spot. No, wow, it was crazy. So this is the road that, in a recent episode of Top Gear, um, they had a race to the lighthouse to deliver a new bulb or lamp, if you actually give it correct term, because where do bulbs go, Heather? In the ground. Correct. So, yeah, this footage today, I'm going to struggle to cobble together an half decent video, I think. The weather's a bit cack time lapse in this is uh, no fun with the wipers on and I'm really concentrating to be honest especially now I saw that lorry <laughs> so anyway this is the way to the most westerly point in the UK mainland we're actually getting quite nervous it said road closed about five miles ago and uh, we just kept blagging it because we figure what's going to happen really slow. I can see the lighthouse. Oh well we're gonna get some oh I can see the lighthouse so even though it says it's closed I call this a win. I can see people up there as well. This is as far as we go with the van. Um, it says road closed. Obviously, I've said that in the video. But I'm going to take a cheeky blag and walk up there and see what happens. Got it. It says mid-June as well. I call end of June. Get your finger out, guys. Right, so strictly speaking, I guess it's a fail, but it's also not a fail because I've still taken the van on the most westerly road I can. It says end of public road here. We're on the end of the public road. I'm clawing at straws here, aren't I? But up there, I would have really loved a picture of the van by the lighthouse, but it's close enough. We'll have to do. I have a cunning plan though. Right, so as you can see, the actual road close bit is the uh, visitor centre and cafe. Um, so we can't drive any further up there. That's the f as far as I can get Pearl. However, Captain Jack's going to come with me and we're going to see if we can sneak up there. Right, that's as far as I'm going. There's blokes working up there. Um, and I obviously don't want to get into trouble. There's a dog out and everything. So we'll say, there you go, Jack. You've done it for Pearl. It's as far as we're going, mate. We're so close, but so far away. 
this video is not going to make this out but <laughs> if I pan across here there's the lighthouse tip just in between them two telegraph poles <laughs> The van in a picture with the lighthouse. Ish. So we're going back down into Fort William after a long day's drive for Rick. Yeah, it's probably six hours since we came through this morning. I'll double check. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to pull up in the uh, car park of the Neptune staircase. find somewhere for tonight's park up. Obviously have a bit of a break for a, an hour. I'll have a quick, yeah. I'll have a quick film of the uh, locks but I'm not farting around. Okay, so in the last vlog for you, which was yesterday for me, we were at um, Fort Augustus and there was a lifeboat going through the lock system. I believe this is the same one. Beth Cell, 1733. We're now in Fort William the day after um, to quickly show you Neptune's staircase. So it does look like it came the whole way through the uh, lock system, through the lock the other side, and then down here into this. It is still the Caledonian Canal, but obviously it's travelled a fair way. There you go. I'll show you the uh, locks now, but I'm not going to mess about like I did yesterday and wait for boats and stuff. So you've got the same sort of affair there, a swing bridge for it to come through and the road bridge that's the swing bridge for the uh, railway that is going to cross the railway line this is the fort william to malay line that goes over the glenfinnan viaduct the famous harry potter viaduct uh, if people wonder why we didn't go there we went there the last time we were in scotland and uh, watched it uh, it was really great but it was midge heaven and it was raining today, we got a lot on anyway. So that was never gonna to happen today. So across there, you can see it's a swing railway bridge. And then there's the swing road bridge. And then the staircase starts up there. Right, so I'm stood on the road bridge now, looking up at Neptune's staircase. I'll take you a quick walk up there. So here's gate number one. I will put you on time lapse and walk up. So this is the top one. Um, I really hope Heather's filming the other end because the steam train's going past. <laughs> Poor timing on my part. And uh, just down there in the distance, you can probably just about make out the uh, orange boat. So what we decided um, 
is Heather looked on the internet on search for sites and stuff, found a couple of places, uh, all looked okay, and we were parked in the car park in Neptune Steps. Now it didn't say you couldn't park here, and it didn't say you could, but when we came in we noticed there was three or four vans sitting there that were blatantly obvious they weren't going anywhere. And uh, as we were looking, the white one there pulled up next to us and we got talking to them and they've stopped here before, so it's absolutely fine. So there's us two there. There's another two round behind that yellow van and then them three in the corner. I don't think they're going anywhere. So this is where we're stopping tonight. We have to fetch a Chinese, it's the law. Um, pretty good view though. Look at that. So walking back from fetching a Chinese, I'll clarify now because Brains is with me. This is definitely the Caledonian Canal. Yes. And the other end when we were in Fort Augustus was the Caledonian Canal. Yes. But it feeds through locks to get like carry on. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to make it sound like I was as stupid as a lock. But yeah. It goes through locks, but the water locks, not the gate locks, because it goes through them as well. Too many lock words. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps gives you a better view. Now I'm a bit further back on the other side of the uh, of the locks. In the distance there, see how much they climb. Couldn't really see it from the top. Um, certainly a bit of a bit of a climb there. Felt like it when I was running back for the train, I'll tell you. <laughs> I ran back down the hill, I got to about lot four or five and I thought I've just remembered I'm not 20 anymore. Okay then, so we're going to end day 12, actually on day 12 for a change. <laughs> um, simply because we're sat in the van, I can get this video edited and uploaded. Uh, I've got really good 4G here and then I can start day 13 with a clean slate ready to go so from Fort William Neptune staircase car park yeah mm -hmm. we'll catch you on the next one ta-da bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> jazz hands